There's only a few of us. There's a select few people that get to do this. It's a little bit hectic getting ready for Pebble Beach. There's so many projects going on right now that you can't hardly move an elbow without bumping into somebody or something. As far as car history goes, we, we go quite a ways back, all the way to basically the beginning. For us it's kind of normal, but we're always amazed when people come in who haven't been here before and their eyes just open up wide. I mean, if you look around here, it's just, you know, you work in a museum, it just gives you a grasp of what was going on at the time, so every car here tells their own personal story, not only in the history of Mercedes-Benz, but in history in general. Most of us that work on them, we're getting older. We, we kind of like the older stuff better. And a certain pride in, in keeping it alive, I guess. There is a certain aspect to these cars. It's a different age. These are cars that you can still understand. You can take things apart. You can repair them. If we've done our job right, no one should be able to tell we were even there. We're here to make it look exactly like the people that came before us made it. See the history as I'm working on the vehicle, who's been there, what's been done to it. As I open her up, it's kind of like a opening Christmas present. You see what's inside. And so we, we have to pick up on the artistry that was done back in that period and then just continue to preserve that artistry that was done so long ago. The best part of it is giving it to the customer and actually seeing the smile and the happiness on the customer that I gave them a piece of my life and they're going to enjoy it for years to come. So we're, we're looking for the best or nothing in what we do um, in, in restoration.